Hello, if you find this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe. Nice one. Mr. Gardner, what on earth is an inverse operation? Well, I'm going to tell you now. Inverse operations are super easy if you know how. So, an inverse operation basically means the opposite. Inverse means opposite. And an operation in maths, well, there's four of them. You've got add, you've got minus, you've got divide, and you've got times, or multiply. And the special thing about these operations are that they are the opposites of each other. So add is the opposite of take away or minus. Divide is the opposite of times. And they work together, and I'll show you how now. So, if we've got the number 64, we add 20 to it, our answer would be 84. It's really important to check your answer. And yeah, you could use a calculator to check this. However, there's a really quick way to check um, using the inverse or using the opposite. So what you do is you look at the opposite operation. So what's the opposite of add? As we know, it's minus. So we take the last number, step one, 84. And we work backwards. So we've got 84 here. And instead of equals, we're going to put take away or minus. The next number is 20. So 84 minus 20. And that should equal our first number, which it does. 84, 74, 64. Counting back in tens. And there, we've just used the inverse to check if our answer is correct. So we can also do this with dividing and times in, which are the opposites of each other. So if I've got six multiplied by 10, our answer is 60. Remember, take the last number first. What is the opposite of our operation? It's divide. 60 divided by 10 equals 6. Again, we've just used the opposite to check our answer.